Fitzgerald. I'm with Texas a and AgriLife Extension Service, Texas Sea Grant Coastal Marine Agent for Jefferson and Chambers County. Tonight, I'm going to be cooking a Texas grilled shrimp recipe from the Hooked on Seafood Cookbook from Texas Sea Grant. This is a really easy recipe. It does not require meaty and a lot of ingredients. Um, basically, all you need is some shrimp, some bacon, some olive oil, some garlic, lemon, and parsley and pepper, okay? Now before I started this video, I prepped a little bit. I actually soaked my shrimp in the olive oil and the garlic, the lemon, parsley, and pepper for about an hour so I could like absorb the juices. Then I took the shrimp and I wrapped it in some lean bacon. I took the fat off the bacon and put a toothpick through it. And that's about it. That's a really easy, simple recipe that you can do at home. You can grill it indoors, you can grill it outdoors. So I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing these on the grill. Now these are locally sourced shrimp. These shrimp were caught from our shrimpers in Jefferson County. These are Gulf Wild Shrimp. Uh, it is important to know where your seafood comes from because seafood from other countries could contain extra antibiotics. Um, Gulf Wild Shrimp has an amazing taste. You get omega-3 uh, fatty acids with it, which is healthy for your brain. You get some good vitamins, you get some good minerals. So it's very important to know where your seafood comes from. Also, if you was to go buy frozen seafood, be very careful with the packaging. This is an actual package from uh, Cotton US. Some packaging can be deceiving because the packaging can have the American flag on the front. But when you flip it over, it will have a packaged by right up underneath the little nutrition label. And it'll tell you this one's actually packaged in Lake Charles, Louisiana. So this is a locally sourced seafood from the United States. So before I actually start, this just some safety stuff. I am not going to cross contaminate my seafood. This is where raw seafood was. This is where cooked seafood is. Uh, make sure you don't cross contaminate. Always wash your hands before you get started. Now everything that I'm using tonight is locally sourced. I am using some locally sourced olive, olive oil and I have some locally sourced rice. I have our ag extension agent from Jefferson County. This is Tyler Fitzgerald and he's our rice expert. Howdy. I'm here to talk about rice and the importance of our agricultural industry to go along with the seafood industry. Here in Jefferson County right now it actually is rice planting season. Uh, Jefferson, all of Southeast Texas, we're planting rice right now. And uh, it's hard times for everybody in the United States economy-wise. Uh, just like any other critical business, there's a lot of folks that are hard at work right now, including our farmers. They're out right now 24-7 planting rice, preparing the ground. But I want you to see when you go to the grocery store and you buy your rice, uh, do the same thing. Just as the, as the shrimp, look and see where your rice is produced from. Uh, this is obviously here in Jefferson County, Dogage Rice. We have another rice mill, Beaumont Rice Mill here in Jefferson County. But you also uh, just take, you'll see the Go Texan label here by our Texas Department of Agriculture. We're always, any product you look at, if it's there, uh, support those folks, locally sourced folks. But then look at the back of the product and see where it's at. Obviously, Dogage Rice Milling Company in Beaumont, Texas. But look and see there if it's product in the United States or not. Uh, that's really important to help our farmers and uh, got good, safe agricultural food. Yeah, so our commercial fishermen are working very hard at getting your shrimp, your crabs, your fish, and all that locally sourced. You can go to seafood markets locally and find these. So always, always know where your food comes from. Again, you can buy our rice uh, locally at any of the mills. We have a Raywood mill also. Um, anyways, as the shrimp cooks, it's going to take, you know, about five to eight minutes doing this. We also cook some rice to go with this meal. So, uh, two cups water, one cup rice, cook it for 15 minutes, more or less. And remember, when you're cooking rice, don't ever remove the lid until you're done cooking. And it's pretty simple like that. Have a meal within 15, 20 minutes here, and here's your 
end product. So we have some bacon wrapped shrimp with our eyes and a side of vegetables here. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight and hope to see you again.